Battle of the Brains presented by Virginia 529. Central Virginia's Ultimate High School Academic Quiz Show. Today's match features Cave Spring High School versus Trinity Episcopal School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us for Battle of the Brains. I'm Cheryl Miller. Today's teams have made it to round two. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. The academic athletes joining us today are the Knights of Cave Spring High School, coached by Tamara Carson. Cave Spring High School is in the Roanoke County School District and ranks second in the Roanoke Valley in terms of academic quality. Also with us today, the Titans of Trinity Episcopal School, coached by Pauline Crowling and Ned Trice. Trinity Episcopal School is in South Richmond. The private liberal arts high school was Richmond's very first international baccalaureate school. It's great to have all of these students back with us today. Our match today will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, good luck. Let's start the first toss-up round. The running of the bulls in Pamplona, Spain was made famous in what novel by Ernest Hemingway? Emma. The sun also rises. Correct. In Britain, every November 5th, Guy Fawkes Day is celebrated, Guy Fawkes being the traitor arrested on that date in 1606 during a vain attempt to blow up what building? Spencer. Parliament. That is correct, the Parliament buildings. Which nerve in the human body is the longest in the peripheral nervous system? Matthew. The sciatic nerve. That is correct, extending from the lower back down each leg to the foot. Alphabetically, what is the last of Santa's original eight reindeer? Uh, Aiden. Vixen. That is correct. She is a graduate of the Harvard Law School and in 2010 became only the fourth woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court. Name this justice appointed by Barack Obama. Matthew. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. That is incorrect. Bruce Spring. Cam. Sotomayor. It was actually Elena Kagan. Which nation was the first in the world to grant women the right to vote in national elections? New Zealand. That is correct, in 1893. Signed on Christmas Eve, 1814 in Belgium, what treaty ended the War of 1812? Herr Carson. The Treaty of Ghent. That is correct. What is the term used to describe the minimum amount of fissionable material needed to sustain a chain reaction? Hayden. Critical, or um, critical mass. That is correct. What article of clothing which can be used to control enemies in Super Mario Odyssey has varieties? Rice. Hat. That is correct, including the Fez, Fedora, and a 10-gallon. After you recover from chicken pox, the virus lies dormant in your roots. Hayden. Shingles. That is correct. It, it becomes active again. You don't get chicken pox, but you do get shingles. Body mass index, or BMI, is calculated by dividing a person's weight by the square. Hayden. Height. That is correct, the square of a person's height. In a church, what is the name of the platform from which sermons are given? Hayden. The pulpit. Correct. All right, players, turn your attention to the monitors for a video question presented by a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. You must wait until the question is completed before you buzz in. Move it on over, your cheating heart, and hey, good looking are songs written by what singer-songwriter? arguably country music's first international superstar. Hayden. Dolly Parton. That is incorrect. Cave Spring. Cam. Billy Ray Cyrus. It's actually a little bit older than that. Hank Williams. What is the name of the holiday that celebrates the victory of the Mexican forces over the French? Matthew. Cinco de Mayo. Correct, during the Mexican Franco War. The setting of the 1960 novel To Kill a Mockingbird Alabama. Alabama. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Cave Spring. Is what rural southern town? And that would be Macomb, Alabama. A bathysphere is a manned spherical chamber used for deep sea observation. Spell bathysphere. Cam. B A T H O S P H E R E. That is incorrect. Trinity? Vincenzo? Uh, B-A-P-H-O-S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. That is also incorrect. It is B-A-T-H-Y-S-P-H-E-R-E. -E, bathysphere. 
These seven inch tall stuffed animals named Hoot the Owl, Tabasco the Bull and Peking the Panda are part of a line of collectible toys introduced in 1993. By what collective name are they known? Pam. Beanie Babies? Correct. And that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. Great job by our team so far, but a lot more questions to go. Coming up next, we'll introduce you to today's players, and then they'll take on the category round here when Battle of the Brains continues. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Cave Spring High School with 40 points, Trinity Episcopal School with 80 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead, but first let's meet today's players. We'll start with our team from Cave Spring High School. The Knights are coached by Tamara Carson. First up is Bryce Hart Hagee, who is a sophomore. His favorite subjects, he say, are math and geography, and Bryce enjoys watching sports and playing video games. Next up is Carson Ray. Carson is a senior, both at Cave Spring High School and at the Roanoke Valley Governor's School. He enjoys coding robots and artificial intelligence and is a musician. He composes his own music and plays the piano. Our team captain for Cave Spring High School is Cam Haggett, who is a senior. She is in the marching band as flute section leader, is a member of the stage crew in theater, and enjoys crocheting, embroidery, and listening to podcasts. And wrapping up our team is Anna Martin, who is a junior. She has a pet Australian white tree frog. She's lived in five states and enjoys language learning and reading. That's our team from Cave Spring High School. Now let's meet our team from Trinity Episcopal School. They are the Titans. Their coaches are Pauline Crowling and Ned Trice. First up is Hayden Beach, who is a junior. He enjoys computing, biking, playing the guitar, and skiing. Our team captain is Matthew Wadelick, who is a sophomore who plays baseball and running and enjoys math and science. Next up is Spencer Anthony. Spencer is a junior who is a cross-country runner, enjoys programming, and would like to study computer science in college. And wrapping up our team is Vincenzo Barafato, who is a sophomore. He's a member of Trinity's track team and field team, track and field team, let's put it that way, and enjoys playing soccer and working at a local restaurant. That is our team from Trinity Episcopal School. And now for our category round, each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If the team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they will receive a 20 point bonus. Teams, take a look. Here are the categories from which you may choose today. They are native language plurals, a D in math and political terms. We do note in this round only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answer. By the rules, the high score team gets first choice of category. That is our team from Trinity Episcopal School. So Matthew, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what category you would like to play. Uh, we will choose a D in math. All right, give the mathematics term that begins with the letter D for each of the following. The first, for instance, one, four, seven, nine, or zero. Pass. That would be digits. A 10-sided polygon. Decagon? Decagon is correct. A conclusion reached by reasoning. Deduction. Correct. A unit of measure for angles. Degrees. Correct. A Greek letter used to represent change in. Delta. Correct. The set of all possible values for x. Domain. Correct. Five minus three, for example. Difference. Correct. Line joining two points on a circle and passing through the center. Uh, diameter. Correct. The bottom part of a fraction. Denominator. Correct. And finally, the line connecting two opposite vertices of a rectangle. Diagonal? That is correct. All right, good job on that category. We'll give you an A for D in math. <laughs> All right, Cave Spring, will you take native language plurals or political terms? Cam, talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what you'd like to play. Okay. Political terms, please. All right, identify each of these words or terms associated with politics. The first is formal charges of misconduct against a public official, the president, for example. 
Impeachment. Impeachment. Okay, impeachment? Correct. Two-word term for when a president does not act on a bill for 10 days before Congress adjourns. Yes. Pocket veto? Correct. Leader whose rhetoric appeals to fear, hatred, and greed, and often spreads lies. Dictator? Judges? We will accept that. Or demagogue. An office holder whose term is about to expire and cannot seek re-election. Sitting, sitting yes. Sitting duck. That would be a lame duck. Second in line to the presidency. Vice president. Vice president. That is incorrect. Speaker of the House of Representatives, mm. according to the judges. Right to vote, often referencing women's rights. Suffrage. Suffrage. Correct. Party meeting at which decisions are made on candidates and issues. Caucus? Correct. Term to describe a legislature with two houses. Bicameral. Bicameral. Yeah, yeah, Bicameral. Correct. Term for the minimum number that must be present to conduct business. Uh, quorum. Yes. Quorum. Correct. And finally, election held to determine a party's candidate. Oh, primary. Primary. And that is correct. Awesome job. Guys. All right. Good job by both of our teams on the category round. Up next, another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains continues. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle Gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Cave Spring High School with 80 points. Our team from Trinity Episcopal School with 125 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. Just a reminder for our players, you do lose points for interrupting a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have the chance to answer. And again, no conferring in the toss-up rounds. Here we go. In 1881, President James A. Garfield was shot while waiting for a train in Washington, D.C., dying two months later. Who was the gunman executed for the assassination of Garfield in 1882? Carson. Gateau. That is correct, Charles Gateau. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. In terms of pi, what is the area of a circle with a diameter of 12 inches? Hayden. Um, 144 um, pi. That is incorrect. Cave Spring? Carson? 36 pi. That is correct. Like Easter Island, this state was named for its discovery during Easter season. In 1513, its Spanish discoverer saw its lush vegetation and named it for the season of flowers. Carson. Florida. Correct. As of November of 2023, only two songs have been streamed more than three billion times on Spotify. Name either. Matthew. All I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> That's a good guess, but no. <laughs> Cave Spring. Cam? Uh, shake it off. No, the two songs are Shape of You by Ed Sheeran and Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Like bees and flowers, associations between unlike organisms beneficial to both is a type of symbiosis known as what? Aiden. Mutualism. Correct. Newton's first law of motion describes what tendency of an object to continue. Carson. Inertia. That is correct. Continue moving at the same speed in the absence of a force acting on it. In what common household device would you find a bulb, a stem? Matthew. Um, a lamp? That is incorrect. I'll finish for Cave Spring. Would you find a bulb, a stem, a contraction chamber, and an expansion chamber? Carson. A refrigerator? It's actually a thermometer. Yeah. What former president of the United States pledged his allegiance to the Confederacy as an elected member of the Confederate Congress? Hey, Matthew. Fillmore? That is incorrect. Cave Spring? Carson? Davis? It's actually John Tyler, who died before he took his seat. 15,000 French soldiers were defeated in May 1954 in what Vietnamese city by Viet Minh troops? Carson? In Bien Phu? Correct. What is the legal term given to the government's ability to take private property for public use without the owner's consent? Carson? Imminent domain? Correct. In a popular Beatles song, Lucy had eyes like this. Matthew. Kaleidoscopes? That is not the question. I will finish for Cave Spring. Spell kaleidoscope. Sorry. Anna. K-A-L-E-I-D-O-S-C-O-P-E. -E. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> it could 
fly as high as 70,000 feet, but its top speed was less than 500 miles per hour. Matthew. Uh, pass. I'll finish for Cave Spring, making it vulnerable to missiles as Francis Gary Powers learned when he was shot down in 1960. Person. You too. That is correct, the spy plane that shares its name with an Irish rock band. <laughs> Pencil and paper may be needed. A water tank is designed to be filled in such a way that the amount of water in it will double every minute until the tank is completely full after 10 minutes. How long will it take that tank to become half full? Matthew. Nine minutes. That is correct. Okay. All right, watch the uh, monitors for a video question presented by a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, wait until the question is complete before buzzing in. Starting with the letter B, what is the only native freshwater trout species in Virginia? Pass. Answer. That is incorrect. Cave Spring? Carson? Brook trout. That is correct. <laughs> And that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead and we'll double the point value. Stay tuned to see which of our teams will advance to the next round here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head now into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Cave Spring with 170 points. Our team from Trinity Episcopal School with 115 points. And now for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled. But so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. Good luck, teams. This is our final toss-up round. Name the Polish astronomer whose theory Italian astronomer Galileo confirmed when he became convinced that all planets, including the Sun, revolve, including the Earth, rather, revolve around the Sun. Carson. Copernicus. That is correct. Absolute magnitude is a logarithmic scale for measuring what quantity? Hayden. On the power of earthquakes. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Kay's spring. What quantity the total power radiated by a star? Carson. Luminosity. That is correct. What is sometimes described as either a waning or waxing gibbous? Matthew. The moon. Repeat for me, please. The moon. That is correct. Who was the first American to hold the office of U.S. Secretary of the Treasury? Matthew. Alexander Hamilton. Correct. During the Middle Ages, these French short stories, noted for their broad body humor, mocked the church, the nobility, and the peasants. Later, some were worked into English by authors like Geoffrey Chaucer. What are these stories called? Anna. Tales. That is incorrect. Trinity. Matthew. The Canterbury Tales. They're called Fablio. <laughs> Whose old Plantagenet bones were discovered in 2012 under a parking lot in Leicester, England? Anna. King Richard III. Correct. What are the two parts that make up the nucleus of an atom? <laughs> Matthew. Protons and neutrons. Correct. Ray Palmer is the alter ego of what member of the <laughs> Justice League of America? Vincenzo. The atom. Correct. Cesium has a melting point of 28 degrees Celsius, making it one of the few metals that are liquid at room temperature. Hayden. Lead. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Cave Spring. What metal has the lowest melting point lower than cesium? Arson. Mercury. Mercury is correct. According to legend, St. Patrick utilized the shamrock to illustrate what religious concept? Matthew. The Trinity. Correct. Members of this class have bodies with two segments, the abdomen and the cephalothorax. Matthew. Arachnids. Correct. It was the first important movement of African-American writers and artists. Give the name of this movement associated with many personalities, including Zora Neale Hurston. Anna. The Harlem Renaissance. Correct. Along with W.E.B. Dubois and Langston Hughes in New York City. During the 16th century renaissance, what vernacular language was elevated in the world of letters to full equality with Latin and Greek? Matthew. English. That is incorrect. Cave Spring? Cam? German? It was actually Italian. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Find the derivative of the expression x cubed minus 4x squared. Carson. 3x squared minus 8x. That is correct. Nice. What is the 10 letter word for the study of earthquakes? Vincenzo. Seismology. Correct. Which of the following five letter words is a plant? Agape, agave, aglet, 
Hayden. Agave. That is correct. It's a sweetener. As part of his 12 labors, Hercules was tasked with cleaning which stables? Hayden. A horse. Judge is saying no. Cave Spring? Cam? Mimian Stables. It was the Augean Stables. In the fictional Star Trek universe, the character Worf was from the House of Moog. In reality, from what house or dynasty was Elizabeth I of England? Matthew. The Windsor. That's incorrect. Cave Spring? Anna? Tudor. Tudor is correct. George H.W. Bush, Jean Kilpatrick, John Bolton, and Nikki Haley all served in what? Matthew. Uh, Republican. That is incorrect. All served in what diplomatic position? Cave Spring? Anna? Ambassador. I need you to be more specific. Ambassador to the U.S.? Yes. She's yes. No. United Nations. Ambassador to the United Nations. <laughs> and that buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here on Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round two in this season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Freeman High School versus St. Catherine's School. And here's the final score for today's match, determining which of our teams will continue on in this season's competition, heading off to round three. Our final score for Trinity Episcopal School, 215 points. Great job today by... Vincenzo, Spencer, Matthew, and Hayden. Our winners today with a final score of 310 points, our team from Cave Spring High School. Uh, good job today by Bryce, Carson, Cam, and Anna. And we will see you in round three. Congratulations. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains. Presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.